Ms. Mavish, can we begin? Yes, please. Assalamu alaikum and good morning, everyone. I'm Pullu Tipu, the homeroom teacher of grade 5C. Uh, I, on behalf of Beacon House Newlands, welcome you all to an amazing session and exhibition and the first online PYP exhibition for 2021. Uh, we all know that we are all going through tough times, but even then, our learners have given in 100%, even, in fact, more than that, and they've worked really hard and responsibly for this exhibition. So let's give it up to them and uh, let's enjoy their learning journeys. Let's call in the first group. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. Thank you for joining us in our BYP. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. Thank you for joining us in our BYP exhibition, which we have worked so hard for. It was a long but a very interesting and fun learning journey. We began by choosing a theme for ourselves, which is how the world works. Moving on, we collectively grade fives, to be exact, came up with an umbrella central idea after decoding the descriptors. It was a long process. We then had to make our own central idea. And since we were interested in learning and exploring about the atmosphere, we researched it. Then we wrote down some options for our central idea. It took us about three days to do the central idea. Finally, the central idea we came up is exploration of the Earth's atmosphere. Thank you. Our first line of inquiry is components of the Earth's atmosphere. Our first line of inquiry is all about the components of the Earth's atmosphere. We have studied about what the layers of the atmosphere are made of and what their job is in the atmosphere. We have decoded it online. Our second line of inquiry is impacts of the Earth's atmosphere results in different natural phenomena. Our second line of inquiry is about the Earth impact of the atmosphere on the occurrence of natural phenomena. We have decoded it online. First formative is a poster about all the layers of the atmosphere. We have made all the different layers of the atmosphere to represent what their job is in the atmosphere. Our second formative is a PowerPoint presentation about all the research that we have done in the first line of inquiry and the second line of inquiry. Our third formative is a questionnaire about the atmosphere and different natural phenomena. We asked seven people to fill it out. Then we added the results to our submitted. Third line of inquiry is humans' response to the, the occurrence of natural phenomena. Our third line of inquiry is all about the reaction and or response of humans regarding the occurrence of natural phenomena.
Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Muhammad Ahmad and I want to thank each and every mentor and speaker who shared their knowledge with us to enhance our learning journey. Our mentor, Ms. Anila, really helped us in figuring out what our next step would be and how to do it. We have had three speaker sessions and they really helped us out. Ms. Zartaj and the website she told us about was a great help for us. Mr. Roshan is a very funny guy. Anyways, he told us so much more about black holes than we could have ever imagined. A big thank you to all of them for making us more knowledgeable. The IB learner profile that we have developed are knowledgeable, inquirer, and responsible. Because we have been inquiring about the atmosphere for a long time now. And we have been gaining knowledge from our research. And we have been doing our work responsibly. The ATL skills that we have developed are research skills. Communication skills and self-management skills. Because we have been researching about the atmosphere and and we communicated through our formative assessment tasks. And we have been doing our work responsibly and on time. And that's why we think that we have developed self-management skills. Ensure inclusive, unequitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Now, you must be wondering what in the world is happening, and I'll explain. This is a sustainable development goal that we have aligned with our action, and it is a quality education goal. It's all about educating people, and that's the goal we want to achieve. We want to educate others regarding the atmosphere in all it serves. We started working on our action in physical school. I really miss school. Anyways, we changed our action according to the SDG that we have chosen. Our action is very long. So I'll summarize it. Basically, we want to educate people. Boom. Simple as that. Thank you. I am Coraline, your guide for today. Do you know about the Earth's atmosphere? The atmosphere has five layers. Components of the Earth's atmosphere, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Impact of the Earth's atmosphere on the occurrence of natural phenomena. A lot of things occur in the atmosphere. Sometimes they can result in different natural phenomena. For example, when solar wind interacts with the atmosphere, an aurora occurs. What are natural phenomena? Natural phenomena are the events that occur which humans cannot control. Positive and negative impacts of the atmosphere. Positive, it is the reason we are alive. Negative, climate change. Troposphere is the first name or layer of the atmosphere. The troposphere controls the weather and it's where the most, most of the clouds are. Stratosphere, the stratosphere is the second layer of the atmosphere. The stratosphere is like shield saving us from the UV light. Mesosphere. Mesosphere is the third layer of the atmosphere. The mesosphere breaks down the flying rocks coming our way. The thermosphere. Thermosphere is the fourth layer of the atmosphere. The thermosphere is where all the satellites are and where our rays occur. The exosphere. The exosphere is the last layer of the atmosphere which blends into space. We had seven people fill a questionnaire related to the atmosphere. Here are the results. Answer 1. Six people got it correct. Answer 2. Six people got it correct. Answer 3. Six people got it correct. I hope you learned something new today. Goodbye.
let's call in for the next group Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to have you guys here. I am Abdullah, and my group members are Aman, Aima, Jen, and Yaqut. Today, we are going to discuss how we started our exhibition journey and how we decided our topic. Our theme is how the world works. We decided our topic through everyone's interest collectively through group sessions, where everyone, the grade fives, decoded the descriptors, and finally came up with our umbrella central idea, which is discovery and understanding of the natural world and its laws impact the world around us. Since our interest was science and how the whole human body functions, that's exactly why we chose and came up with a central idea that was related to it and specified two cells to be exact. First, we decided our goals, uh, goals to accomplish by the end of our exhibition. Like we decided to make a song for our summative assessment so we are able to tell everyone that if any cell goes missing in our body we could have issues that would be difficult to deal with. Thank you. Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Aman Kash. I am a part of the cells. I'm very uh, excited to share this with you. So let's get started. So our first, our central idea is the world is a chain of living organisms. This is basically what keeps everything together. Everything needs to be connected to this. Everything needs to be connected to this. And as you can see here, we have decoded. So after that, uh, our first line of inquiry is living cells and their types. Now beside you, we can see our decoding and what we have done. Then our second line of inquiry is cells forming community. And this one, there was a lot of questions and Beside you again here, we have another page that has been decoded. So there are just some questions that we have to answer and we cannot do that with the entire theme, but we need to do it with some small add-ins. So this is one of them and we are decoding this. Then our third line of inquiry is cells are the missing pieces of the puzzle. So basically, this is our last line of inquiry and well that's this and after this everyone else can share what they have to say thank you and about the learner's profiles and ATO skills we have developed through the process 
of our exhibition. What we have achieved through our, our learning journey is amazing. Why I think all the learners' profiles would be it, but if we had to pinpoint a few, majorly I think we have all become inquirers. We as learners and selecting a topic which we didn't know much about has made us inquire more about it. We have become risk takers as we learned about so many new things and not just that, we also explored them. We have also become reflectors at the same time. Since on every step we were reflecting on the things that we were doing, we as a group have become better at our communication, research and management skills and have managed to get better at them. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Maima Vakas and I'm going to be talking about the SDG goals. But before we get started, I'm sure you're wondering what they are. The SDG goals, also known as the Sustainable Development Goals, are goals that can help the world be a better place. They're also known to be the blueprints of what the world will or might look like in the future. There's 17 of them in total, but there's only one that fits our topic perfectly, and that is good health and well-being. A good health can only be provided if all your necessary cells are in their places. However, if you lose a cell, you might have to go through physical, social, or mental issues. And if you know how to take care of yourself well enough, you'll be able to live a healthy and uh, smart lifestyle. That you already know but but never thought it's true for you we'll walk you through every part so that you know it well so come and follow our lead we'll teach you everything about the cell the first layer of a cell is a cell membrane it protects everything a cell contains this part of cell is a genius as it controls everything and it's known as a nucleus. We have the cytoplasm next which is like a gel that fills up every cell. This one has two main functions known as the ribosomes which decodes and commands all the formations. Mitochondria is an organelle found in large numbers. It deals with the biochemical processes and energy production that occurs. When a cell is missing, the body cannot function right. That is the reason why white body cells fight. You lose your connection even when one cell does not work. Be thankful that your cells are letting you enjoy its spark. This is an effort done by Jaina, Abdullah, Liaquat, Aman and Naima. So hope you understood the parts we are trying to teach you. Over to the next group, please. Yes. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. My name is Haj Ali. Do you guys know that this is the first PYP exhibition that is online? Pretty interesting, right? So we are focusing on astronomy and we made a theme on it. We decided on black holes first, but then we choose astronomy. Our choice was astronomy because we want to learn more about space. Astronomy is the study of everything in the universe, and astronomy is the oldest branch of science. Further, you will see how we explore our central idea through the process. Our umbrella central idea is discovering and understanding of the natural world and its laws impact the world around us. And the central idea that we made is study of astronomy leads to understanding of the universe, under which we decoded and understood how astronomy has so many branches that come in and how they play a role in the life of people. Hello, my name is Anaya Sakhar. First, I'm going to tell you what applications we used while working through on our central idea. They are Canva, Zoom, Google Slides, Google Drive, Vita, and Voice Recorder. Our central idea is study of astronomy leads to understanding of the universe. And our first line of inquiry is branches of an astronomy under which we got to know about the various branches come under astronomy like cosmology and planetology 
Our second line of inquiry is astronomy and its relationship with human societies in which we decoded how humans have connection with astronomy and how they connect with constellations. Our first key concept is form and the second one is connection. And finally, our related concepts are responsibility and change. Thank you. that predates the Greeks. I lie between Lebron to the West and Sagittarius to the East. Hello everyone, my name is Manahal Ali Bukhari from 5C and I'm going to tell you about the mentor and speaker session. The mentor session were helpful because the mentors gave us ideas and guided us that guided us to learning more about the, about space. They helped getting our work done and taught us more about the universe. They also motivated us and answered our questions to clear and cleared any confusions we had. The speaker sessions were helpful because they taught us more about the planets, cosmos, and other things outside the universe, which allowed us to find more stuff and research about the universe. They also helped to, us to study more and more about the universe. These sessions were important to support our research with Thank you to the mentors and speakers for taking out time for us and not only being our guide in the project, but also motivating us to work together online. My special thanks to the people from the mentor section. Ms. Vanessa, who talked about the black holes and answered our questions to clear any confusion. Ms. Zara, who helped us throughout the session. And the people from the speaker session, Mr. Roshan Bukhari who told us new things about the planets, stars, and galaxies. And Mrs. Taj Vaseen who talked different things about Mars and the other planets. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Muhammad Dayan. And today I will be talking about the learner profile that we have developed as a group through this exhibition journey. I personally feel all the attributes have played a major role through this process that we as a group have gone through. But the most important ones are that we are inquiries from the beginning to the end of the process. We become more knowledgeable as we had to do a lot of research and got to learn a lot of new things, things that we didn't know about before. And finally we became more responsible as we had deadliness to meet and had to finish work on time. The ATL skills that we practiced throughout were research skills, communication skills, self-management skills, and thinking skills. Thank you.
leave none behind. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. My name is Anaya Farooq and I'm from grade five state. The SDG goal we chose was the ninth one, which was industry, innovation, and infrastructure. The target we chose to go with our central idea was the last one and it was significantly increase access to information and communications technology and strive to provide universal and affordable access. Our action is to make a bulletin board and it will be updated on the research being done in astronomy and space. We connected our action with the ninth SDG goal to aware people about happenings related to astronomy and space. Thank you. Everyone, this is Mustafa, and today I'll be sharing what we have done so far with you all. In this exhibition, we are mostly focused on astronomy, in which we have learned about how everything works in the universe beyond Earth's atmosphere. Before we started with our summative, we worked on our formative, which were creating a new planet on which we were wrote creative writing and made a video about different constellations and their paths. The summative we decided on is a bulletin board named Space Station and in it we are going to give recent news updates about space, NASA and astronomy. It will keep people updated with all the happenings up there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good job, 5C. Well presented. Let's take a screen break and join back at 12, everyone. Miss, are we taking a break? Yes, we'll take a short break and you will re log into the same link at 12 30. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. When, Miss? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay. Okay. Great. Okay.